Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about the struggles of a self-taught artist. This is specific to my experience and also in reference to this painting. I believe a self-taught artist is a person that acquires knowledge and skill in painting or art without having to go through a traditional or formal type of education. What I mean is having to use other methods of learning such as reading books or blogs, watching videos and so on without having a tutor to guide throughout the process. In short, this is someone that initiates learning and practices a skill. I definitely fall in this category as I started learning how to paint years back. This was in 2013, I was in college and it was during the holidays when I found myself wanting to paint but didn't know where to start from. And that's how I discovered few artists on YouTube and I watched the videos and I also read a lot of blogs and I went for it. When I started painting, all I had was passion. I was so oblivious about how colors work or blending methods and so on. I loved my paintings and I was proud of them. Looking back from where I am coming from, I see I learned a lot, but not only did I learn, my level of self-criticism grew. My criticism grew more evident the more I painted, and I saw this happen more vividly with this piece. I reached a point where I felt like giving up and I got so frustrated and it was at that moment I realized how self-criticism can stop one's progress. It wasn't easy to get back to the painting, but I decided to give the piece another try and I told myself not to judge too harshly. The struggle of an artist is to try their best to achieve a glimpse of their imagination through their work and I found myself struggling to express with this piece. Usually when this is not achieved, one can find themselves battling with the painting and frustrated but the beauty in this is the realization that a painting like any other form of art is not for the artist art is expressed through the artist to the world yes it transforms us and more so it is meant as a gift to the viewer we as creators can do our best but mostly the beauty in all this is when the piece speaks for itself as long as we have done our part. I hope you enjoyed this short video of me trying to explain what I went through as I was creating this piece and I hope this video has encouraged you to keep pushing through any hurdles that you are experiencing in your journey. Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next video.